Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? I was popping and percolating YouTube. As you can see, in live in HD, it's your host of the most, Paul Cantu, I mean, Northern Boar, back again with another video. Today, I'm gonna to be showing off some things I have for sale, some things I've been buying over the past month, I've accumulated them. As you can see, I've been splurging lately. Got the Babe Carhartt collab from 2006, 13 years old on this jacket. I see signs of wear on this jacket, however, the car has built to last, and man, it's lasted a pretty long time and still in substantial condition, so I'm really happy about that. When I was buying this, I was really looking for how many ape heads was on at the front, because I just wanted there to be a lot so people know it's babe. And then this one came in today. Boom. A little Vetmont action. My first Vetmont piece. Maybe my last. I don't know. Um, it's going to definitely be my last zip of putty. Look at this. The freaking doesn't even fit. Vetmont Aldom Winter 2016 Sexual Fantasies zip up hoodie. I really wanted the zip up one in particular. I really like it. These are like the lamp. The Lamper zippers or whatever, those Italian zippers that are supposed to be high tech. Ever since 2016 I've been wanting this hoodie so I'm really happy I finally got my hands on it. Especially for the good price that I did. Gucci notebooks, if you guys want, they're 35 shipped. I recently thrifted this Carhartt jacket, size woman's extra small. I picked up this guy recently. This guy's my Gucci teddy bear. I have another one coming in. Um, I've been wanting one for like months now and I finally got one. Finally got in the funds to buy all this stuff that I've been really wanting for the longest time. These Gucci teddy bears I think were made in 2001. Um, all of them. I'm pretty sh I read it once. 50% sure that I'm wrong, 50% sure that I'm right. But nevertheless, it's a great little accessory for the room. Really happy about it. Uh, as you can see from the smile on my face. Really stoked about that Gucci teddy bear. I don't know what happened to my voice, but I don't want to stop and take care of it. So we're just going to go through it and hope it fixes itself, hopefully. Um, next up, I have a little bundle. This is Dior wallet, it's a woman's wallet, as well as a side bag. Maybe this can be a cute Valentine's Day gift. I can do these 200 chips. I'm pretty sure you can sell this one for like 200 at least. Next up for sale is this Bape puffer jacket, size small. This is an older piece, I think. Probably mid 2000s, uh, I don't know. But my babe tags, I really should, since I'm really into it that much. Um, so the only flaw on these are like the little dirt on the sleeves. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. Just for this video, I'm gonna do this little steel pussy strip on this one. I think that's fair. Uh, size small, babe puffer jacket. If you find one cheaper, let me know. It's Christian Dior Sports. It's Christian Dior Sports tee. Really like the color. Uh, perfect, pretty much perfect condition. Really cool tee. This is a size medium. I'm pretty sure it's a men's size medium, honestly. This one, this is a Gucci tee too. I think it's a size medium. Like men's size medium, but I really don't. No, I can give you measurements. Always can give you measurements. For the Christian Dior tee, I'll do 70 shift. And then for the Gucci one, I'll do 100 shift. Next up for the personal is this Gucci tennis racket bag. I really wanted it, so I picked it up. The only weird thing is this inner liner. I want to take it out, but I don't really know how, so that's something for me to figure out. That's going to be the end of this video. I don't want to bore you guys too much. Hope you guys enjoyed it somewhat, or a lot. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hope you guys have a good day. See you guys in the next video. Don't. We're out of here.